we are going to find out the angle theta, and the angle is in between of 0 to 2 pi, and we also want to have cosine squared theta to be 1 over 4. This right here looks kind of unusual, right? Because we have the square here. But it's okay, because just think about it. How can we get rid of something to the second power? Well, we can just go ahead and take the square root here, right? So that they cancel out. And we do the same thing on the right hand side, right? So we do that, and be sure when you do this, include the plus minus on the right hand side. So in this case, in fact, we have to work out two situations. The first one is cosine theta, let me just write it down here, equal to, well, the positive version of the square root of 1 over 4, which is the same as positive 1 half. And the other situation is that we have to put down cosine theta to be the negative version of 1 over 2, like that. And we should be able to do this, and we should be able to solve that. Altogether, we just do this and that, and we put the answers together, right? So, let's focus on this one first. Cosine theta to be 1 half, and we know cosine is x over r, and from here, you know, we can say we can take x to be 1 and r to be 2, like that. And we can just go ahead, draw our reference triangle based on this information. Okay, x is equal to 1. Let me just make this darker like this. This is my 1, okay? And for r is equal to 2, in fact, there are two possible ways to do it. Starting from the origin, and then you make the 2 like that, or go down below. Two possible situations, right? And for the first one, I'm just going to do like this, right? This is my r equals to 2. And now I will have a reference triangle right here. 1 on this side, this right here shall be square root of 3, because the hypotenuse is 2 already. So this is square root of 3. And you know, this is going to be one of the special right triangle, and it is the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, right? So this is 1, this is square root of 3, this right here is the 60 degrees. Right? And this right here is the angle theta that we're trying to find, 60 degrees. So, the idea is that even though I put down 60 degrees here, but we are using radians in the equation, right? So we have to convert the 60 degrees into radians. Let's do it right here. 60 degrees, we multiply by pi over 180, and you can reduce, right? this and that, all together you end up with 3 on the bottom, pi over 3. First answer, theta equals to pi over 3. Alright, in fact, I could have draw the triangle down below, right, just how I indicated earlier, so I'll do that right here as well. So let me put this down. So once again, here is my 1 for the x value, right, this is my 1 like this. And for the r is equal to 2, I will just go down below like that. This is my 2, and now this is square root of 3, but technically it's minus. And this is still going to be 60 degrees down below here. But in this case, do it carefully. This is the reference angle, that's not the answer. We have to count, right? We have to keep track from the past the x-axis, and rotate all the way from here to the terminal side. Okay, we know the whole circle has 360 degrees. This is 60 degrees already. That means the red part here is just 300 degrees, right? And that's pretty much the answer, but we just have to now convert this into radius. So let's do that. 300 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. And you can reduce this and that right by 60. 60 goes into 300 5 times, and 60 goes into 180 3 times. Altogether, you end up with pi over 3. So, second answer, uh, let me just put 5 pi over 3. 60 goes into 300 5 times, right? so altogether, this right here is 5 pi over 3. And let me put this down right here. 5 pi over 3. So you see, we got two answers from here, and now we'll work this out, right? 
So once again, cosine is x over r. And in this case, we take x to be, I will put a negative up uh, to the top, right? So this is negative 1 over 2. r can never be negative. That's why the x has to be negative in this case. Take x to be negative 1, r to be 2. And now let's pretty much do that again, right? So in this case, let me draw the first triangle. X is equal to negative 1 now, so I will just go to the left now. This is my negative 1. R is 2, so I will do like this, right? This is my 2. And once again, you know this triangle, this side here is square root of 3. This angle is 60 degrees, but you have to calculate it from here to the terminal side, right? We know the whole thing is 180 up to here. But this is 60 already, that means this red part is only 120 degrees. So, from here, 120, let's convert that into radians, multiplied by pi over 180. And we know 60 goes into 120 two times, and 60 goes into 180 three times. So, this right here, 2 pi over 3. Done. So, let me just put this down right here, 2 pi over 3. And we can also draw the triangle down below, just like that situation. So this is going to be the last part right here. And we have this. X is negative 1. That means I go like this, right? This is negative 1. R is 2, so I will do something like that. This is R is equal to 2. And this is also down below. This is negative square root of 3, like that. This is still 60 degrees. But this time, you see, we go from here all the way to the terminal side. This here is 180, plus 60 is 240 degrees. 180 plus 60 degrees is 240 degrees. And now, 240 degrees multiplied by pi over 180. 60 goes into 240 four times. 60 goes into 180 three times. So altogether, it is 4 pi over 3. And that's the last answer, 4 pi over 3. And this right here is it. And the order of how you present the answer doesn't matter. This is good enough.